Hey guys, and I'm back with another video. So today's video, um, I'm quite sure y'all might have heard on the news. So Quaker Oats, are, they're now trying to, um, you know, change their brand around, which I feel like they should have been did that a long time ago. But, um, so, you know, of course, the pancake batter and the syrup and your mama, now they want to change it, you know, I guess because of, you know, all the police brutality, all the racism that's still going on in the world, all the prejudice and, you know, ignorant, you know, acts of racism is still going on in the world, going on in the world now. So they're finally, you know, wanting to change their brand. And I watched a viral video of the girl named Kirby and she got some valid points, you know. And your mama um, is a stereotype of black women, you know. Actually, back in the, you know, slavery days, you know. That's what um, the white man that I guess owned Quaker Oats or however, he went to like a minstrel back, you know, back in the day. And um, it was a, a black woman by the name of and your mama. So that's what he used, you know, to sell his brand. And he also, um, you know, hired this woman by the name of Nancy Green to, you know, be the face of the company. And I don't even probably think they was, she was modeling, you know, as the Angie Mama brand, you know. And she was basically um, a slave, you know, from, you know the 1800s and you know she used to you know cook pancakes and stuff like that for you know the white families and stuff like that so I guess they hired Nancy Green to be you know the face of Angie Mama but still to this day you know Quaker Oats y'all made a lot of money why this woman don't have a headstone yet you know she probably you know died you know without died broke without even really having no money for real you know y'all probably used to pay her like little to no money because how is it that she died you know back in the day did she die I, I can't think of the actual date that she died but I think it was still in the 1800s or you know the beginning of 1900 and um she still don't have a headstone and it's 2020 it's 2020 now so this this woman is you know she's basically you know the face of you know a million probably billion dollar company so why don't she have you know a headstone i'm not understanding that you know her family should be rich you know because I, I believe she had like a great uncle or something like that. And I read up on it a little bit. Um, a, a woman named Miss Williams, um, she was trying to get a headstone for Miss Nancy Grace because, I'm sorry, Miss Nancy Green. Because for all these years, this woman has not, you know, she's been buried without, you know, a tombstone, a headstone or anything like that. And everybody know her as being the face of Angie Mama. But I'm hearing that her um her great nephew or something like that, he he's afraid that, you know, if the Angie Mama brand go away, then people is gonna forget about, you know, his great aunt or however. So, you know, it's like, you know, people have mixed feelings about it. It's like, damn if you do, damn if you don't, because if you you know, take away the Angie Mama brand, which I feel like they should because they stereotyping black women that, you know, is based on um, black mammies that used to be caretakers for, you know, white families back in the day. That's why, that's why the way, you know, she look on the box and stuff like that. She had like a scarf and stuff tied around her head and, you know. She kind of look a little, you know, you know, that's how they try to stereotype, stereotype black women to look like, you know, 
She had like old like cloth clothes on and stuff, like homely looking clothes, you know, and that's what they used to kind of wear. That's what they used to wear back in the day because, of course, you know, they were slaves. So the slave ma masters didn't really buy them clothes. They would have to rip off, rip scarves and stuff like that. They would have to make clothes. So they kind of made the lady look like homely and look like, you know, basically like she's poor and that she's a black mammy, like a caretaker for white families. And that's, you know, that's stereotyping black women and that's stereotyping black people, period. So I liked the, the video that Kirby did because she said, I want a breakfast. She said, should I have a black breakfast today? And then she said, no. You know, she started throwing out the black, you know, the black breakfast. She started throwing out the Angel Mama pancakes because these white people made so much money off of black people brand and culture, but talk so bad about black people or act like they better than us. But they done, they done made millions and millions of dollars off, you know, our face off of our color, you know, off of our name. This white man went to a minstrel back in the slavery days. And it was a woman by the name of Angie Mama. And that's how the pancake brand came about. That's how the breakfast brand came about with the syrup and everything. Then they had a woman kind of like dressed a little homely, like an old maid, you know, because it was based on a black mammy that was a, you know, she was a slave and she was a caretaker to rich white families, you know? And so it's like, I guess I grew up on Angie Mama, but I'm glad I guess they taking it off the shelf because, you know, don't stereotype us. You know, I don't even want to even keep reliving the fact that we were slaves. You know, our ancestors were slaves. You know what I'm saying? My great, great, great grandmother, great, great grandfather, you know, had to suffer. So for you all to make that a brand and make millions of dollars of, out of it. And then y'all use this woman by the name of Nancy Green, you know, to be the face of the company. And she used to like model, you know, I guess, you know, model and take pictures, you know, of the Angie Mama box you know, box of pancakes, you know, and she was supposed to be like the real Angie mama, you know? And so for you all to not even bury this woman with a headstone, like how much money was y'all paying her? Y'all was basically probably giving her like little to nothing, you know? How it's like hundreds of years later and this woman don't have a, a headstone yet you know y'all just use this woman use her to be the face of y'all company and pay her crumbs you know and it's just it's crazy you know that's just how i feel you know so the brand quaker oats i'm glad you all are finally changing you know the angie mama brand and you know stop stereotyping black people and you know, all of a sudden now y'all want to change it because of all the George Floyd situation and all the, you know, the George Floyd case, you know, and the white man killed the innocent black man. So now y'all want to, you know, y'all want to, you know, say that y'all don't want to, you know, y'all want to bring us together now you y'all don't want to keep us divided no more i feel like that should have happened a long time ago y'all should never stereotype us or make it seem like y'all better than us and basically like use us just to be the face of y'all company you know use you know black face you know to sell y'all brand and couldn't even get this woman a headstone i'm just not understanding that and y'all should have never he should have never went to a minstrel and you know hear of another black woman's name and then put a black face on the picture of y'all, you know, y'all breakfast, the, sir, the sell y'all pancakes and everything. And I, um, I read up on Nancy Green. She used to go around, she moved up to Chicago and she would make, um, pancakes.
for, you know, the white families and stuff like that. And everybody said her pancakes was delicious. Everybody said her pancakes was so grip so good. So you all hired her to be like the face of the company, to be the model of the company, you know. But damn. But yeah, that's all I have to say, guys. You know, I'm glad you all are getting rid of, you know, um, stereotyping us like Uncle Ben's rice. I have a black man with like gray hair, you know, on the box of the Uncle Ben's rice. Just kind of like stir, you know, use black people to sell, you know, your product, but don't want nothing to do with black people or talk so bad and talk down on black people, but use us to sell whatever that you're selling that's not right that's not cool to do and stop stop stereotyping us you had the angel mama lady she's a black lady with like a head scarf on her head she look a little she looked a little homely i i see like far as like the dresses and stuff that she used to wear and stuff like that you know you don't do that but i see they try to like spruce her up you know over the years try to make her look a little modern look made her look a little you know different than when angie mama first came out they had a woman look real you know you know knowing that it was like a back in the day you know she used to wear, have on like you know old slave clothes and stuff like that like she kind of looked at homely but i see like as the years went by y'all try to make her look a little different and you know make her look nice you know because at first y'all just had her looking kind of like homely with the dresses and stuff like that and scarf and stuff tied around her head so y'all try to make her you know look more up to date and stuff like that but just get rid of the whole you know the whole brand the whole angie mama uncle ben's rice you know mrs butterworth all that get rid of all that you know don't use black people to sell your product but don't care nothing about black people Please like, share, and subscribe to my video. Give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye, guys.